Hi everyone, welcome to another video. So yesterday Games Workshop released a brand new data sheet for the new plastic auto that we got in the Eldritch Omens box set. Now when this new Autark came out, there was a lot said about the compatibility between the old Autark and the new Autark, but when we actually got the data sheets, there were some restrictions. You couldn't actually take the loadout that you can see on screen now, which is the picture from the front of the codex, so you couldn't have the glaive, the missile launcher, and swooping hot wings and so on. But now Games Workshop seem to have listened and they've released a new data sheet that now allows for all options between the two Autarks. So you can see them both on screen now. I recently did a video showing the compatibility between the two and all the parts line up, everything fits to each model, but we couldn't actually take them with the data sheet that we got in Eldritch Homans in the Codex. But now, as I said, we've got this new data sheet which now allows for sort of any option. So the Shuriken Pistol now can be replaced with any of the other weapons in the kit. So the Death Spinner, the Fusion Gun, Fusion Pistol and the Reaper Launcher. And the Glaive can now be swapped out for the Banshee Blade and or the Scorpion Chainsword without any restrictions. You can also take the Jump Generator and the Swooping Hawk Wings with any combination of weapons now there's no restrictions so that's brilliant so if you want to make your evil auto art with death spinner jump generator and mandy blasters you can do so the data sheet's been updated the points costs are on there and now the restriction that we saw in the eldritch omens box set has actually gone the other good thing is there are two old auto arts coming back on made to order so two of these auto arts um one of them's quite old it's got the fusion pistol the scorpion chainsword a jump generator and one of the other ones has got uh, sweeping hot wings, shuriken pistol and a banshee blade and banshee masks so I might have to pick one of those up maybe even both and we'll see what we get with those but it's a nice fixed option if you're not going to magnetize your kit so you can build the plastic one with certain options then you've got these two to fall back on but that's it I just thought I'd do a quick video just highlighting the new data sheet I think it's a great move by Games Workshop they've obviously listened to the fans and hopefully they'll do this in the future with other kits as well allowing for more compatibility with all kits and any weapon options instead of just being restricted in a certain build so that's it I'll leave it there thank you very much for watching hope to see you in the next video cheers Wow.